Cabin activity number one. <laughs> Build a mailbox. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode. My name is Sam Sobe. A little bit different video today, much more relaxed. Um, Steph's off of work, so we're just kind of doing stuff around the cabin for the first time basically in a week or so. Uh, a week ago, we went up north to her family's land, did some 4th of July action up there. Awesome time, had a great time, but now finally, we've got some time to spend back, kind of at our house, getting stuff ready. We've got a million house projects to do, and um, it's kind of a rainy day. So, we'll probably just kind of hang out at the cabin, vlog around, and yeah. So, stick with me, stay tuned, enjoy, and welcome to a little cabin vlog. <laughs> this is pretty interesting, I don't know what I'm doing. Where did you get this? Walmart. No, actually Menards. <laughs> Really? Large. This is not bad. It's a big mailbox. We got a mailbox now. We need to buy one of those fish mailboxes. I know. I know, this will work though. Probably nice and cheap. Paint it. Alright. So we're no experts, but it looks like you just step on it and put it in the ground. We can do that. <laughs> <laughs> step one, put in ground. Step two, finished. All right, mailbox has been assembled. Charging cords here, getting kind of ready for the weekend. Got a tournament tomorrow. Crazy stuff over here, we'll clean that up later. All right, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but it is about to storm. It's been thundering and rolling. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm not sure if you could hear that or not, but it's gonna rain, which is fine. Rain's cool. Um, since we can't go fishing today, I think I might kind of clean out the boat. The boat has kind of been a wreck. I've been fishing in it pretty hard. We've been exploring lakes around here a ton. So I'll probably just kind of clean the boat, get everything organized. Tournament tomorrow. Okay, rain day project <laughs> number one. What, um, what do you got cooking? We're gonna try and make corn nuts, and we don't have the right type of corn, but we're gonna try it anyway. Okay, so a little backstory. I want to say, maybe a week ago, uh, Steph and myself were at the gas station, like we're on a little road trip, coming back from Fourth of July. Uh, I grabbed like a little bag of chips for the road, and she's like, I don't know what to get. And I grabbed her like some corn nuts, ranch corn nuts. I'm like, oh, have some corn nuts. They're always good. And she's like, what are corn nuts? And I was like, what? So now she's just been infatuated with them so much that she went out, bought a mini fry daddy got corn and now wants to make them at home herself. <laughs> I don't have the right type of corn. I already know that. <laughs> but like, they're gonna be but good. I'm gonna if, try it. We gotta try it. It'll, and on a rainy day, whatever. Okay, step one, she laid the corn on here and made them really dry. Step two, probably put some oil in here, get that hot. And then step three, I think literally just put them in there. I don't know, we'll see. As far as seasoning goes, might do a little Hidden Valley Ranch. Might do a little white cheddar. That's like what we put in our popcorn. I don't know, we, we don't know what we're doing. Don't follow these directions. Not at all. Don't. This is, <laughs> this is purely just experiment. This is fun. Oh boy, we're cooking with oil. Oh, also an update on our um, mailbox. That's kind of half built in the living room. Steph started construction on it and started to rain. So then we decided that wasn't a fun thing to do today. So that's just, that's kind of the story around here is we'll start a project and then kind of put it to the side and then next thing you know, we're popping corn outside for no reason. So let's just stay tuned. Next, we're gonna race go-karts. Who knows? They're not floating yet. Give them time to cook. They are floating. Give them Ooh. time to cook. So from what stuff's looked up online, I think it is something like three to four minutes. You kind of let them deep fry in there and then we take them out and then we season them, right? Yeah. Yeah. So really we don't, 10 minutes. We don't know. There's no way this is gonna take 10 minutes. No. Okay, so if we normally pull the boat in the yard and do stuff like that, we need to at least have it kind of... Farther away. Okay, yeah, off the drive. It's right next to our, our number, so it'll, be, it'll work nicely. It's buggy out here. Yeah. <laughs> Just a nice step-in mailbox. <gasps> Were we supposed to dig holes for this? What do they say? Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, then that's what we'll do. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the directions say dig holes and stuff's like, oh, let's just go step it in. All right, trial and error, you know. All right, we'll, we'll be back later today to try that. It's pretty buggy out there. I think they're done. Yep. We'll try them. You know, they're, they're kind of crispy. Trial number one turned out decent. I give it like, yeah, six out of 10. Still extremely tasty. They're just like little morsels. We want those big, large corn kernels that um are like more like nut size. So, but yeah, so pretty good. Stay tuned, we will be trying the actual. All right, on to more cabin things. 
Yeah, that's that's fairly level. Alrighty guys, activity number three on the menu today for the cabin. Uh, we're taking a little break from the mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> trial and error, but for right now, we're gonna play a little bit of cribbage. If you guys never played cribbage before, I suggest you learn it's an awesome game. All right, so these two jars, you might ask, um, are for the money that we win in cribbage. I just kind of want to know how long it takes somebody to lose ten bucks or win ten bucks or whatever. But this is my jar. I probably have like eight bucks in it. This is her jar. I think she has like twelve bucks in it. So she's winning right now. But um, yeah, we play for a dollar game, and cribbage is our game of choice. So let's get it out. All right, little mid-game update. These are my little buddies here. That's Stephanie's. How you feeling? Not great. Not great at all. <laughs> Winning. What do we got? Not great. Not. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Thank you. Boom. Goes to Sam Sobiak Foundation of Cribbage Winnings. All right, good game of cribbage. Two out of three. All righty, I don't know if you can tell or not, but the storm subsided. I think Stephanie and myself are gonna hop in the boat, do a little bit of fishing. We've only got like an hour and a half to fish, so we're just gonna go out there, put around a little bit, maybe catch a bass, and then um, come back in. So yeah, the random day at the cabin continues. On to fishing. Well, and here we are, out on the lake. Um, hopefully catch a bass. Why are you not wearing your life vest? I just took it off because we're tootling. Good, good play, good, <laughs> nice. <laughs> we're going fishing now. Well, as soon as we get on the lake, storm rolls back Always. in. No big deal, we're one minute from home. Back to home. Uh, well, I mean, we get out there for like maybe 15 minutes tops and then the storm blows through. So, <laughs> I mean, I can't be that mad because we literally just got off within what? Maybe three minutes? Yeah, that like, was three minutes. We zip so, back to the axis, so put it back on, yeah. shoo, back in the garage. Like, you wouldn't have even known that we took the boat out. So yeah, we kind of half put in the um, mailbox today, half fried some corn nuts, went fishing for five minutes. But we played two full games of cribbage. We so did play two full games say, of cribbage. We didn't do anything yet. Today. So yeah, we'll probably just kind of watch <laughs> the storm, hang out for a little bit, and then probably this is a sign that we need to clean the garage, clean the boat, and get everything dialed. So. Inside days are good too. Move ahead. Oh my pretty babe. Something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead. Oh my pretty babe. I won't be. 